Yeah, today I would like to introduce uh, MCC TVS diodes. So before we go into the products, let us start with what is voltage transients. Today's electronics components is getting smaller and smaller. It is vulnerable to electrical stress such as overcurrent and over voltage. So over here, we are going to deal with over voltage. So over voltage could be due to the power fault or voltage transient caused by electrostatic discharge, lightning induced transients or inductive load switchings. So looking at today technologies as well as today systems, basically most of the time we are actually subjected to inductive load switchings. So the over voltage most of the time are actually due to inductive load switchings. And because of the uh, miniaturizations of electronics components, so components may not be able to handle the sudden increase in energy could result in abnormal working. So basically it can damage your systems or even it can have a potential safety hazard such as uh, fire or smokes or hazards, right? Therefore, we need to control those functions or we need to suppress them to prevent those system damage or catastrophic failures, right? So based on that, we have various kinds of study being carried out to actually characterize different different types of voltage transients. So the two most common transient watt models basically are the lightning transients, which you can actually look at the graph over here. So this is the lightning transients waveform. So basically it's a uh, double exponential waveform. And the below one is another model that actually represent the ESD waveforms. So basically both of these are characterized based on the uh, multiple experiments or multiple observations. So when it comes to the uh, over voltage protection, so just now we have transients, voltage transients. So how do we suppress them? How do we protect our systems? There are two types of over voltage protection mechanism, which are known as the clamping protection mechanism and the crowbar protection mechanism. Clamping protection device will clamp the transient voltage to a particular level, but the device itself will suffer high power dissipation and generate huge amount of heat. As for crowbar protection, the device acts like a short circuit switch with very low conducting voltage, enable it to divert huge transient current with lower power dissipation. This graph shows the behavior of three types of over voltage protection devices, which are the gas discharge tube, GDT, metal oxide varistors, MOV, and the transient voltage suppressors, TBS. As you notice, when there is a voltage transient event, comparing to MOV, TBS has the lowest clamping voltage or residue voltage. The table to the right shows the comparisons of four kinds of over voltage protection technologies or devices. Basically, TVS reacts very fast and has unlimited life cycle due to semiconductor technologies. As long as the power dissipation during avalanche event is within the device capabilities. TVS could recover automatically and react again on the next impulse event. So generally, semiconductor devices uh, outperform the rest of the uh, technology being used to suppress all these transients. Right. What is TVS? So TVS is the short form of transient voltage suppressors. So transient voltage suppressors is a semiconductor device, so which is ideally to limit the clamping voltage 
basically you if you if the system is suffers from a transient voltage so this semiconductor device should clamp or limit the transient voltage to certain levels so in order to protect the systems behind the tvs over here so tvs is actually connected in parallel to the protected systems over here and yeah nominal voltage of the tvs should be higher or slightly higher than the system protectors right. so this is actually reverse bias and when there is a transient occur over here so basically the uh, tvs will go into avalanche breakdown and the huge current will be conducted through the tvs so that you have a lower voltage or the clamp voltage over here and the system will be protected so basically if we look at the graph over here so this is the uh, behavior or the uh, characteristics of tvs diodes so the graph shown here is actually the uh, unidirections tvs diodes IV curve. So this is basically the uh, breakdown voltage of our TVS. Our systems should, the TVS diode chosen should be higher than the uh, working voltage. Examples, this is a 12 volt systems over here. So the working voltage that we chosen should be higher than 12 volt. Examples like 14 volt systems. So when there is a transient occur, and when it exited the 14 volt or the breakdown voltage of 16 volts over here, it will go into the avalanche breakdowns. So when the avalanche breakdowns, a huge current will be conducted through the TVS over here, and the device will be clamped at this particular voltage. So your system will have a clamped transient over here, and the system will be protected. However, if the transient current exited the uh, power of the TVS diode that it, can, that it could actually dissipate, then the TVS diode may actually suffer electrical overstretch or may result in damage or failure as well. In MCC, we actually offer more than 4,000 TVS diodes for selections. So we have almost 40% of them is actually automotive qualified. So for us, we manage every single details of our TVS diodes in terms of their mat materials, chip design, or even assembly testings to ensure our consistency and persistence quality. And right now, we're actually approaching the fifth generations of technology platforms. So in MCC, we actually offer various kinds of packages when it comes to TVS diodes. So we have basically the uh, low profile SMD packages. So covering the uh, SOD 123FL and up to the uh, SMBF package. So we also have the typical surface mount packages such as SMA, SMB, SMC, as well as the uh, DO218AB package. So other than that, we also have the high power packages such as the SMG. SME or the AK series. And nevertheless, we should also have the Excel leaded package, such as DO41 up to the R6 package over here. This table actually shows what are the uh, products that actually offers by MCC. So for non-automotive TVS, we have we cover the range from 200 watts all the way up to 6,000 watts. So this including the TVS which is the surface mount type or the Excel leader type. For different, different watts or different, different power over here, we are talking about peak pulse power. We offer different packages, such as on the uh, 400 watt TVS, we actually offer um, the smallest with SOD123. So we also have the SMA series, such as the popular 600 watt TVS, we have various kinds of packages offer. Basically, we have the DO221AC. So this is actually the SMA flat lead package. We also have the SMB, SMA, as well as the SMBF package. In terms of technologies and innovations, our goal is to bring you the 
smallest possible device with the highest peak power capability. Example, our non-automotive SMB package, TVS diodes are capable to deliver up to 2000 watt peak pulse power with voltage range from 20 volts to 58 volt. So for the typical Excel leaded types of TVS, we have 400 watts all the way up to 6000 watts of um, range. So the 6000 watt will cover the range of 10 volt all the way up to 60 volts. So other than that, we also have high power TVS. So the high power TVS basically is for applications that actually expose to harsh environments, which susceptible to strong transients or interference. So basically we have 15 kilowatts, 15 kilowatts up to 30 kilowatts of TVS diodes available for selections. And it cover the range of 17 volts all the way up to 280 volts. Further up, we also have TVS diodes such as the AK series over here. So the AK series, as you notice, the AK series is characterized using the uh, peak currents instead of the uh, peak watt peak power. So the peak currents we actually equivalent to our testing standards by the UL or the IEC for lightning surge protections. So it is starting from the range of 1000 ampere all the way up to 15 kilo amperes over here. And the AK series we mentioned over here will be AK1 up to AK15 covering the voltage range between between 30 volts to 430 volts. So as mentioned just now, MCC TVS diodes covers almost 40% of them are actually automotive qualified. MCC assures our customers that automotive TVS went through stringent reliability tests and meets ACQ 101 standard. Besides, and automated facilities, are implemented to minimize human errors, contaminations, improve efficiency, and ensure consistent quality of every single piece of TVS produce. So for MCC, in terms of automotive qualified TVS, we actually offer the range from 200 watt all the way up to 6,600 watts TVS diodes. So again, it comes with various kinds of packages offered over here. Basically, those packages are in SMD packages. So with the smallest package of SOD 123FL all the way up to DO218 AB package. So the DO218 AB package basically is mainly used in automotive load dump applications. And that's all for today. Thank you.